Yo, come to my channel. In this video, we are going to look at the theory part of capital budgeting. Capital budgeting decision is the decision to invest in long-term assets that have long-term implication on the capacity of a firm in terms of production and cash flows. The long-term assets that the business invests in, they determine the capacity of a firm to produce and they determine its cash flows in the long run. The long-term assets that the firm invests in can be tangible or intangible. Examples of tangible long-term assets, we have things like plant and equipment, machinery. Then examples of long-term intangible assets can be things like software, copyright, goodwill, and other things. Let's look at when do we undertake a capital budgeting decision. When does a business invest in long-term assets? First, when a business is replacing an old machine for a new machine, it can invest in what? In long-term assets. Then when a business is planning to expand on production, to increase on production, it has to buy more machines so it has to invest in long-term assets. When a business is switching to a new product, it cannot use the machines that they were using to produce the former product, so they have to buy new assets in order for them to produce a new product. Then when a business is making a new investment, a new investment requires new assets. So the business has to take a capital budgeting decision then during research and development, yeah, when the business wants to develop, of course they have to come up with new Increase in demand will require a business to increase on its assets in order for it to increase on the production to meet the, the existing demand. Then improve te technology when the existing machines are outdated, the business has to buy new machines so it will have to invest in long-term assets. Then let's look at the importance or rationale or significance of capital budgeting decisions. Why is it important for you to make a capital budgeting decision? Why is it important for you to be careful when making a capital budgeting decision? First, is that the capital budgeting decisions are irreversible and in the event that they are reversed, they are expensive. So you have to be careful when you're making a capital budgeting decision. When you invest in long-term assets, most of the times it's irreversible. And when you decide to reverse it, it's really expensive. Another reason is that benefits accrue in the future and the future is associated with risks and uncertainties. So you have to first evaluate the project before you taking it. Then it involves heavy initial outlay. Investing in long-term assets requires a lot of money. So you have to be careful when you're taking that decision because it involves heavy initial outlay. The capital budgeting decision shapes the asset mix. It determines the nature of the business. So you have to be very careful when you're taking such a decision because the nature of the business depends on it. Then survival and growth of a firm depends on the capital budgeting decision, which makes it a very important decision in a business. Let's look at classifications of investments. First, Investments can be mutually exclusive, whereby selection of one investment automatically excludes another. They compete with each other. Maybe an example can be investments that require the same capital, whereby investment in one will automatically exclude another. You have 10 million, you can only invest in one business and forego the other. You cannot invest in both of them. So they become mutually exclusive investments. Then investments can also be independent. Investments that are not related, they can run at the same time and are intended to achieve different goals. 
An example is investing in a saloon and investing in mobile money. They are two different investments. They can run at the same time and they have different goals. So those are independent investments. Investments can also be contingent investments. Contingent investments, the choice of one investment necessitates undertaking another investment. An example is setting up a factory in a remote area will necessitate building roads, schools, hospitals, and other things. So it becomes a contingent investment. Choice of one investment necessitates undertaking one or more other investments. So those were the three classifications of investments, mutually exclusive investments, independent investments, and contingent investments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends, and watch my next video. We are going to be talking about how capital budgeting decisions are made.